We continue to track what investigators call a murder-suicide at a Winchester business. Deputies say he was pastor of this church, a volunteer, firefighter, and a school bus driver. We have information on the Powell County man charged with sexual abuse of minors. And some questions raised tonight about how one presidential campaign obtained some voter data, what another campaign claims. This is WKYT News at 11. Good evening to you. It has left a community in shock. Police found two people dead in a Winchester business today, and it's being investigated as a murder suicide. Tonight, we're learning more about one of those people. Winchester police say they were called to Palmer Engineering on Shoppers Drive early this afternoon. Garrett Weimer has the latest on the investigation. It's our top story at 11. On a day in Winchester that saw the city's first snowflakes of the season, it was also a day just a week before Christmas that saw such tragedy. People nearby at the time couldn't believe it. It's awful for something like this to happen. Police say it started as a domestic situation and ended in a shooting. They call it an apparent murder suicide. Investigators haven't released much else. All I can tell you is that there are two deceased. It was a domestic situation, and the scene is safe. The coroner has not yet released the two victims' names, but a pastor at a church one of them attended called the woman, quote, sunshine to our church and community, saying she brightened every room she walked into. It's a loss many will feel even more deeply in the days ahead, especially as Christmas nears. I think it's pretty sad this time of year for something like this to happen. Police say they're still trying to figure out what exactly that domestic situation was that led to the shooting. In Winchester, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. The shooting locked down two nearby schools for about an hour. We checked with the coroner about an hour ago, and he told us he still could not release the names of those killed. Well, it has been a mild December, but tonight it feels like winter. Cold air has moved in, and we've even seen some snowflakes out there today. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell has an early look now at your weekend forecast. How about it, Jim? And I'll tell you what, Amber, some folks out there, at least on some of the solid cold surfaces, like especially out in eastern Kentucky, they actually had a little coating on some of the cars out there from that snow that passed through earlier. Problem is, it's the only snow you're going to get for Christmas a week out because we're changing things up. Not tonight, though, because it's clear and on the cold side as we look back toward downtown Lexington. 26 degrees actual air temperature, but that's not what you're going to notice. You're going to notice that wind and it punches you in the face with 16 degrees. That's the feels like temperature right now in Lexington. Winds are coming in out of the south southwest, but that really doesn't matter at this point because that south southwest wind does not have a lot of juice with it. There you see some of the other wind chill readings from around the area. Teens also showing up in Frankfurt, low 20s, Mount Sterling, Moorhead. I mean, this is a really chilly night. Now, as we head through the uh, next little bit here, you see those clouds off to the north might pass through the skies in northeastern Kentucky, but that's really about it. I think we're going to bottom out around 22 degrees after looking at some of the new data and just the overall temperature trend. Tomorrow, only in the mid and upper 30s. But we will warm up again, and I will track that for you coming up in just a few minutes. Well, we will see you then, Jim. Thank you. New tonight, investigators are trying to figure out what led to a crash that killed three people in Clay County. It happened along the Hal Rogers Parkway just east of Manchester. Police say a pickup crossed the center line and hit a car head on. A second car then hit the truck. The coroner has identified those killed as Judy Adams Pennington, Charlene Lowe, and Tiffany Williams. He says Williams was around eight months pregnant. All three women were from Leslie County. Investigators say a man and a two year old child were airlifted to UK hospital after that crash. Some disturbing charges tonight against a Powell County pastor. Police say he sexually abused two girls. Police arrested 52 year old Stephen Williams today. He's also a school bus driver in Powell County. New at 11, Kristen Kennedy talks to investigators about the case. Investigators with the sheriff's office, the police department, and state police spent some time inside this church pulling electronics for possible evidence. Tablets, cell phones, any electronic device that he may have used to, uh, to commit a crime. 
Stephen Williams is facing two charges of sexual abuse. Deputies are investigating complaints that the pastor inappropriately touched two girls. The first complaint came Thursday morning, the second Thursday night. They arrested Williams Friday. You have a, a defendant who has access to all kinds of different children through the church that he pastored and uh, by the fact that he drove a school bus. Uh, you have to act fast to make sure you don't have any more victims. Chief Deputy Robert Matthews says Williams had been pastor of the Bowen First Church of God for the last two and a half years. He says he was also a Powell County Schools bus driver and a firefighter with the Middle Fork Volunteer Fire Department. He's been all, all kinds of wreck scenes and fire scenes and things of that nature. And uh, up until yesterday, uh, he was a he was an asset to this community. Investigators tell us Williams gave his resignation to church leaders this afternoon. In Powell County, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. Investigators say one child was abused while on a church field trip, the other at the church itself. They say they're looking into the possibility that there are more victims. New tonight, Lexington police are looking for two men. They say robbed a gas station at gunpoint. It happened around 9.30 tonight at the Marathon on Bryan Station Road. Police say one of the men was the lookout while the other man walked in, pulled out a gun, and demanded money from the employees. They say he grabbed money from the cash register, then both men ran off with it. No one was injured. At this point, police don't think this is connected to any other recent gas station robberies. Laurel County officials are asking for help caring for nearly 200 dogs rescued from a home. Police say the dogs were living in horrible conditions. They were at the home of Stephanie Fields, the director of an animal rescue group. She's been charged with animal cruelty. The dogs are now at the Laurel County Fairgrounds shelter. Laurel County officials are asking for donations to help care for all the dogs. There's not enough room at the Laurel County Animal Shelter for them. Tonight, Senator Bernie Sanders' presidential campaign has gone to court to demand the Democratic National Committee allow it to access a voter database. This comes after the DNC temporarily locked the door after some of Sanders' campaign workers used a computer glitch to download information from the Hillary Clinton campaign. The Sanders campaign filed a lawsuit against the DNC this afternoon. Clinton's campaign manager says the Sanders camp stole its data and tried to download it at least two dozen times. Well, she is.